Hello my lovely people, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the G's from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. If I turn subscriber, thank you and God bless you. I really appreciate you and my wonderful people, my correct people. The Lord will bless you for me, for always supporting me, for always standing by me, for always commenting on my videos uh, your like sharing my videos and every other thing the lord is going to support you and surprise you as well so thank you i really appreciate you you are my vip up you so my people know we are still on the g so now this, this the matter where they reach us today now only of you fe, uh, father sister and everybody Sing a song of praise to Dr. Elizabeth as they appreciate her for organizing a royal Valentine reconciliation dinner for Queen Nomi. My people know me smarty, you know, and I, in short, I want to be hearing good news about Queen Nomi, that they celebrate Queen Nomi like this, celebrate her like that, pamper her like that, do her like this. So my people know, know me smarty. Thank God for everything that God is doing for Queen Nomi. I really appreciate God for all his support for Queen Nomi because if not him, hmm, his en her enemy for don't swallow her. But thank God that there is God. So according to the report written us right now, eh, that arrangement is ongoing as Dr. Elizabeth is collectively arranging a royal Valentine dinner between Oni of Ife and the Kunomi. Guess what? Guess what? Just guess. See, let me tell you this. They said that the venue for that uh, Valentine dinner is going to be at the mansion in Lakey. But see, let me tell you why I'm so much happy about it is that the Oloris are not going to cross that lane. If you cross my lane, no way. I go hit you by the way. Oh my God. Remember that they said that. We know me applied for a restraining order that none of these Oloris, especially these three people, Ronke, Mariam, and Ashley, they, they are not going to cross that area. They're not, they, are, they are not going to be seen around the fence of that particular mansion. And that is exactly where they are hosting this party, this dinner party. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my God, no be smart, you know. I'm so, so happy. So as I said that arrangement is ongoing, Dr. Lidbert is collectively arranging a royal Valentine dinner between Onyo Fe and the Queen Naomi. And the venue is lucky. And none of these Oloris are invited, though. None of them is invited. Those people that is invited in that party is Ina Kakus of Naomi and Onyo Fe. In short, not everybody was invited. According to what we heard, we heard that um, invitation card is going everywhere right now so they, they they made invitation card for this party just to tell you that it's not it's not just ordinary dinner party reconciliation you know said they, they don't offend kunomi too much now so they any any little chance they have any little opportunity they have to stay with her they have to make it a memorable one so that whenever they remember it and whenever kunomi remembers it they she will feel like ah this people love me oh not minding that all oh, this uh, devil is fighting me but they love me and they want to show her that they love her seriously. So I just want to use this opportunity also to tell, to let you know that the union between Onyo Fife and the Kunomi is not just a, a, a ordinary one. It's not the one that is ordained by man, but God Almighty, the planner, the creator that created everything, but nothing created him. He's the one that created Kunomi. The day he was creating Kunomi, he said that only of her is going to be the husband to this beautiful lady I'm about to create or I'm creating. And that is why they say that uh, what the Lord have joined together, let no man put asunder. You see? So, but God Almighty, because of mm, he loves Kunomi so much and he loves only of Ife, he brought the two of them together and nothing is going to separate them. So, that is why they used to say that what the Lord have joined together, let no man put asunder. What the Lord have joined together, what the Lord have joined together, as the Lord have joined Queen Naomi and Onyofife together, let no Mariam, Ashley, 
Ronke, put us under. I know you love this song, yes? Okay, they have been fighting her uh, everywhere. They have been fighting her both physically and spiritually, but they cannot get her because the Lord is always with her. The Lord have always been fighting for her and the Lord is going to continue to fight for her. So my people, oh, mm -hmm. let me tell you another thing about Dr. Elizabeth. Dr. Elizabeth is a woman of God. Not minding that Oni Ofife loves her and he, she loves Queen Naomi. She loves Oni Ofife too and agrees to marry Oni Ofife. Not minding that she came into Queen Naomi's marriage too to stay. And she's there not because she wants to be there or ahead. Because the way I'm seeing it, if Oni Ofife or Queen Naomi wants her to live today, today she's going to live. But she's just there for divine mandate. Because if not that she's there, helping Oni Ofife to fight to bring back Queen Naomi. I don't think you know, Nunu will be fighting all these things alone. And he cannot be able to fight. In short, whenever he wants to get weary, when he wants, whenever he wants to get tired of fighting to bring back Kunomi uh, and Tade Nikawo, this Dr. Elizabeth will strengthen him. Tell him that, look at you, you're not going to give give up. Quitters never win and win, well, winners never quit. So if you don't have, if you quit now, these people are going to laugh at you. Despite what people are saying about her, not minding what people are saying that she she does this, she's doing it for her own selfish interest, she's doing it for this, for that, whatever it is. One thing about that woman is that God brought her into that palace. And people have been saying that she's doing that thing so that she wants to be with Queen Naomi whenever Queen Naomi comes back. Is that not a good one? It's a very good thing that she loves Queen Naomi and Queen Naomi also loves her. Because the way I'm seeing them, Mm -hmm. They have they are they are going to share something in common when when this whole thing will be over. When this wedding shall be over, they are going to meet again. Uh -huh. Let me not go there. So my people lo, mm -hmm. thank God for everything. And this what uh, dinner uh, reconciliation dinner party. Only of the sisters are there, life and direct. They are really planning for Finomi. And the one good thing about it is that. This alone is then go they hit their head. They go somebody go they look for transformer to hug. You know go see transformer. In short, may they, they no see transformer because we don't want bury anybody. Nobody go bye. For those of them that doesn't like Queen Nomi, mm -hmm. whether you love Queen Nomi or not, the Lord have loved Queen Nomi and have decided to show her mercy. And the Bible said that whosoever the love the God want to show mercy, He's going to show mercy. Not minding the level of people that hate you. Not minding how many people that dislike you. Not minding what they are saying about you. Whether they like you or not, if God wants to show you mercy, he must surely show you mercy. As he had decided to show Kunomi mercy, no one, I mean no one, not even Auntie Nomi's, Abi Olori's, Abi Kayamata, Juju, anything can stop it. Thank you and please don't forget that all these informations are all alleged information. I love you guys. Bye.